Can't find anyone. They'll shrine up, and if you actually chase now, OG do lose this game. They can't. They, they can't find to this choke point. Not up against the Timbersaw. They'll go straight for the Roche, and this is this is ballsy. But they have to do something. Yeah, they try to go for this Roche. Ace is ready to go. They've got the track on a fly. I think that's the stolen Astro Imprisonment from Yapsor. They throw the chakra room in. They spot that the bear is the only thing in there. So now with Astro Imprisonment thrown. They actually need to go fight. The cooldown comes out, but BKB by S4 as he moves forward. The stun is there. They need to find this kill quickly, but they can't get on a puppy. And now they're retreating because mid one, the flat cannon is flying. Lots of damage being done. And Fada on the side with that BKB just doing a lot of damage on the no tail. They'll shred for him. Lone Druid dead for 70 seconds. And now Jarex needs to get out. You can't afford to lose more people. Mad, he's spotted out by the track. Disarmed as well. BKB comes out, but he actually has to use the Astral just to run away. S4 trying to reinitiate, but there is your Timber once again just shredding through the Dragon Knight. He's going to die and they are in full retreat. Only two people left, and you've got barely anything to work with. The buyback there from Lone Druid, but that's all you've got. You're still two down. They'll jump in. They'll find another one as Mad just disappears from the map. And there's the Astral coming out. GG gets called. OG have had enough. Secret, they take game one with almost, no, as much gold net worth lead as minutes passed in the game. Wow. Just uh, averaging a 1,000 net worth per minute gain, and it's just... How do you come back from that? They were so far ahead once Bounty Hunter had that level six that he was able to track, he was able to boost that goal. They were staying aggressive. OG always felt like they were on the back foot and couldn't really make something of this game. There were a couple moments that looked okay for them, but overall in that game, Secret just had them from, you know, start to finish. I mean, I feel like they were they were kind of like, maybe, you know, I can't speak for OG, I'm not a captain, but I think maybe they were thrown off, maybe, maybe I'm captain of a pub strat team in, in UK Derby, that doesn't count, but no. Uh, maybe they were caught off by the Night Stalker pick, because we ourselves said that Night Stalker gets picked a lot by Secret as the past five. The thing was, you see that, you don't think to ban the Bounty Hunter, usually you would because you're like, Secret, if there's any team that's using Bounty very well at the moment, it's Secret. Yeah. So you're like, you see Night Stalker, Puppy on the Night Stalker. Fada does play it a lot, but that's your afterthought. And if you're actually in this scenario where for POS 5s and POS 3s, that's where all your bans have to go, you feel like you're losing in the counterpicking phase. You want to focus out those POS 1s, those POS 2s, those lane matchups the most. Yeah, they were able to use that Bounty Hunter as well as the Night Stalker, you know, get that vision, get that track, and then move in. They were, they had the knowledge, they had everything, all the tools they needed to just keep coming forward time and time again. And it seemed like that was the whole game, was just secret moving forward, making sure that OG didn't have any room to breathe, and that's what they used to win game one. I think, like, going into game two, there's going to be some discussions, mainly around how much you want to sacrifice other lanes for the lone druid or some big carry to come through, and how much you get in return. And also, I think number one to take away from that is there wasn't enough respect given to the Night Stalk in that lane phase because I think he finished the lane phase. He was involved by like four or five kills. Yeah, they had like 11 kills before the first night time. Three yeah. kills, I think. And uh, you, can, you can not disrespect a Night Stalk like that. That hero is ridiculous in the first night cycle because then the gains you get are huge. But that is only game one. And these are best of three. So we will be back in just a few minutes Stay right there. for game number two. Stay tuned. <laughs> 